welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog today you join me i'm in west cork and i'm in a place close to skibbereen and Tregumna. and there's a beach that i just stumbled across and i wanted to see was there anything to photograph here and it's quite calm and flat conditions and definitely flat light but when i walked over here to the left hand side of the beach i noticed a lot of chaos really on the floor from pieces of old seaweed and such like that that would have been washed up here in storms and with the grey that's there and in the sky the colours that we have are quite vibrant in the greens and there's also some nice reds as well within that seaweed so what I'm really trying to do is to find some order in the chaos <laughs> so that's normally a phrase that's reserved for woodland but I'm going to try and do it here today to try and utilise what is on the beach try and create a composition for myself and find a couple of nice little shots I hope anyway um, from this location I may not get some nice shots but it will still be a good uh, exercise nonetheless so let's go around the small area here and we'll see what type of photographs I can find today first shot now what I've decided to do is utilize the water that's flowing from the stream behind me back into the sea and there's a small bit of a cascade coming from the left hand side of the frame I've got a bits of seaweed that are there a couple of rocks a couple of um, bits of algae I suppose more so than anything else really um, but it's giving a nice scene I think I'm going to play around here I'm going to put on my polarizer and number one just take away the sheen that's there from the flat light and then I'll also put on one of my NDs as well and I'm using the case system which allows me to be able to stack these filters. You might have seen me putting them on a moment ago. So I can just take one filter, paste that onto the front of the lens like this, adjust for my polarization, and then I can pop on my ND filter as well, which will allow me to be able to get a longer exposure. At the moment, I'm up to a 13 second exposure. Probably don't even need that, but by doing it in that way, I can get the movement in the water here, even though it's ever so subtle. Um, and plus as well with the polarizer takes away any sheen might be a nice shot I don't know but for the first shot anyways first one in the bag I'll show you this one here and we're going to move along and I'll see what else I can find if I can find some shapes and patterns that will lead me through the frame second composition here now and as I said I've got this sweeping bit of water that's coming in and I'm framing that that it's coming in the left hand side of the frame a couple of shells as well within that and there's a bit of a natural bank as it curves back out and heads back out then as well to see at the moment I'm doing a 1.6 second exposure I'm at f11 and I've got my ISO set to 50 um, mainly because I just want to make sure that I can get as maximum I can out of the uh, exposure time so I drop my ASO to 50 under the 100 native uh, for that reason but I think this shot is complicated but I'm happy nonetheless that I think I'll be able to get a photograph from it now the water is coming in as well so it's going to be taking some of that uh, green that I would have seen when I first scouted it and I first arrived here but I'm still going to press on there's another composition that I think I can find over here so I'm going to go have a look at that now next I'll show you this shot anyway and then we'll check back in when I get to the next spot water now is actually coming in quite fast so compositions that I would have spotted a moment ago are being now eroded by the water by the tide but come along to this one here where I've got this water cascading in and you can see some remnants of uh, seaweed here as well that are just all kind of pointing in the one direction so that's what really brought my attention to it um, I'm down quite low as well as you can see here and I'm shooting actually at 18 mil so almost as wide as I can go with this lens um, because I want to be able to try and capture either side here in a portrait orientation I did try the landscape as well don't know if I like that one try both in here really and I'll see what I like in post but yeah um, 
going to be a challenge here now because I had another composition that I'd spotted that's now gone but I'm going to go over here to some rocks and I'll see if I can get a photograph then uh, with the water coming in around the rocks I might get some nice uh, tide pools that are filling up with water as well there but yeah I'll show you this sec a third shot now and then we'll move over and which will probably be my last shot because the water's coming in and there's nothing much behind me but we'll see you never know that might reveal something as the water itself starts to come in further on the beach now to where my final photograph for today will be and as I said the tide is coming in quite rapidly so I had a nice bit of a photograph here lined up I think I got a shot before the water came in and took away some of the detail but then when the water started to come in you got movement within the seaweed as well which I think should be a nice photograph it's a interesting spot here for sure I'd like to kind of come back here again actually I think I really stumbled on it uh, today but I had to come back here again in better conditions because I do think there's a lot to explore along the rocks as well that are coming out on either side of the cove but I think for this photograph anyway um, it will be a slightly different type of photograph I think I've tried both portrait and I've tried a, a landscape orientation I've gone up high I've settled to get up high because I can see down more into the water as well I said it down being down so low but um, I think what I'm going to do here is just play around again for another five or ten minutes mainly and just see if I can spot anything else but I'll finish up anyway this episode of my vlog thank you very very much as always for joining me if it's your first time on the channel please consider subscribing give me a like give me a comment and until the next time, Schlange Forward.